Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about how in React Native you can add icons and I'm going to uh, demonstrate it using a package called React Native Vector Icons and I have already installed it but we can run this again just to make sure. And so while this is running let me just show you uh, where this package is on GitHub. Uh, it's under React Native Vector Icons and I will also put a link under if you search for React I will also put a link on my website. So let's uh, see how we can do this for Android. So if you go for Android you can see the option with Gradle recommended and uh, it's recommending you that change this file Android app build.gradle and uh, add this fonts.gradle to it. So let's see if we can do that here. So this is the file we were talking about android app build.gradle and let's just copy that code and I don't want to copy all the fonts I just want to use fonts awesome.ttf so I'm just going to copy this version and I'll explain what it is. So let's just uh, copy this here and uh, so it is copying all these fonts from here but we want only to use say the font awesome.ttf so I'm just going to copy the name of that so uh, we'll just uh, use uh, one of the font awesome icons and, uh, and I will uh, start syncing this process on Android and while this is uh, going on, I can show you what the Font Awesome website looks like. And if I search for this font called Rocket, you'll see this. So this is, say, for example, the font we want to show in our React Native app. So the next step is basically uh, once you have all this package, you want to import this icon. So I'm going to just copy these two lines and I'm going to post it into my sample here. And if you see what it is, is getting a component icon from React Native Vector Icons, and we're just getting the font awesome. And uh, we're just creating a const JSX. Basically, icon is this name is the rocket which I showed you. This is the font size, and this is it, some color. And to be able to show it in our app, I will just add uh, using this my icon. And uh, let's uh, so this should really get us to be using our um, icon in here and what I'm going to do is now just run npm uh, run Android and before I do that let me make sure I run my simulator because typically I need to have the simulator running before I do npm run so it should be launching and then you can actually see it from the past run that uh, it should be you can uh, see that the rocket icon does show up and it's pretty uh, straightforward to be able to include icons like this from um, various places and I would highly recommend giving it a try so for example we use the rocket icon here or we could have actually used the space shuttle but this is a pro so it's not freely available you could use rocket chat or some other icon so let's see if our simulator is still running here and I think it is starting this is uh, from the old run I had done but uh, let's just make sure that uh, this works so as you can see the process is actually quite simple to add the icons into the Android and after this I will demonstrate the process uh, for adding the icons to iOS as well and that's also actually pretty straightforward uh, if you follow uh, follow the directions and I'll just show you the directions in a second Okay, it is coming up now, so let's just uh, kind of wait for a second and go through this process and while it is going, I can start doing the process for Xcode. So here is our Xcode project and uh, the process for that is basically 
you can copy the fonts into your app and I'm going to copy the directory from react native vector icon fonts and let's say we just copy uh, copy the fonts into our app for example and where it says uh, copy items you should say create groups because I'm copying all the font directory and I'm going to say finish and once the copying is done you can see all the fonts are essentially showing up here and the next step is to modify your info.plist and add these fonts in uh, there and uh, what you can do is uh, just look at this and say let's say you want to add a plus here and it should be the fonts uh, directory here let's see fonts provided by application is what you want to select and if you expand it you can add a key here and the key here should be font awesome.tdf font awesome dot ttf and that should all be required in your info dot p list and the other thing you can just kind of make sure that if you go to your app itself in your build faces uh, you should see this uh, copy bundle resources kind of show up and actually that's all you need to do for ios and the instructions are uh, pretty clear on the website as well if you go for this if you look at the ios it says you should get it into your plist add it font awesome.ttf and make sure it shows up in your build phases so that's all we really did here so let's see if the android uh, is going to work i think there's a problem that i'm having with my simulator right now And I have closed my Xcode project once I have all my changes in here. Let's try running this in the emulator one more time. So this is just the bundler that runs in the background and let's uh, see if this, I have too many things open so that's one of the reasons why it is uh, sometimes uh, hanging up but let's just uh, see what happens here for a second okay so you can see that this uh, works and we got the right uh, rocket font uh, for android so what i'm going to do is to speed this thing up i'm just going to close this uh, in android And I'm also going to close the Android Studio. And we don't really uh, need to look at the React Native Debugger, so I'm going to quit all that also for now. So let's uh, make sure everything is closed. And since we already made the changes for iOS, uh, let's see if we can uh, get this uh, demo going for ios and i'm running now npm run ios and let's see uh, where the simulator is coming up it should just take a second here
yeah it is coming up so that's um, that's a good news we should be let's see if this is working as advertised you should be able to see the font Yeah, it just takes a minute or two to uh, kind of get this process and I wanted to do a live demonstration instead of kind of waiting for and see where the app is coming up now. And let's see, okay, so you can see that the font called up. So it's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, to summarize the changes, uh, I can show you in source tree. What it is, is uh, I'll just highlight the main changes in app.js. You basically have to import the icons and use the icons. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, for Android, you just have to add this thing in appbuild.riddle. And uh, for uh, Xcode, I already go through the process and it was very straightforward. So thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.